morning. Welcome back to the Pratt Pack Gym and a Friday morning salute from the Brighton Hot Dog Shop. All right, lots to get to before I head out to CBS Radio World Headquarters in Green Tree. we got an amazing weekend in store for you. I hope you'll tune in Saturday and Sunday morning at 5 a.m. And don't forget, we have that pirate doubleheader starting tomorrow at 10.45 on News Radio 1020, KDK, as they take on the Reds. We'll give you more on the Pirates in just a moment. Speaking of the Pirates, remember Manny Sanguin, the great one? Yeah, well, he, along with people such as Mr. McFeely, Bishop David Zubik, Pitt Panther, Nittany Lion, the Pirate Parrot, all going to be a part of that wonderful event that we told you about last week, Rocking for the Residents, Vincentian, at their Vincentian home in McCandless, Marion Manor in Green Tree, and Vincentian D. Marillac, Stanton Heights. So please stop by and don't forget that Mayor Bill Peduto, that great mayor of the city of Pittsburgh, and the equally wonderful Allegheny County Chief Exec Rich Fitzgerald have, well, proclaimed tomorrow as Rocking for Residence Day. It works just like a walkathon, but you rock to raise funds for the wonderful folks at Vincentian. So please, if you can, stop out. Now, speaking of the wonderful Catholic faith, you know I'm a big fan of Catholic education. My two children, of course, go to Quigley Catholic. I absolutely love that place. Well, there are some wonderful Catholic schools in other parts of the world, too, that I have visited. One in Steubenville, Ohio, Steubenville Central Catholic, and also right across the river in that great state of West Virginia, in Weirton, it's the Weirton Blue Dons. Much respect for their wonderful school as well. But last night, my buddy Ted Arnaud Jr. and his father, who's a part of his coaching staff, you know, Mr. Arnaud from the Coons Market Black and Gold Sunday Show, our NFL guy, they got their first win at Jim Carey Stadium. It was a historic one, 21-19. Tavon Jeter and Donovan Kirby, two of the fastest players in West Virginia, when it came to crunch time, Oak Glenn was able to keep them in check. And the guy that had 1,770 yards last year and 26 touchdowns in West Virginia, Dakota Price, finally got up on his horse and ran wild, folks. He had an incredible night last night. 30 carries, 157 yards, and he even caught passes for 42 yards. Listen, Mr. Arnaud said he would have never done that if it wasn't for the offensive line who played tremendous football last night. It was ground and pound, as he told the Herald Star, they ended up with 188 yards on the evening. I'm so happy for Ted Arnaud Jr. and the entire coaching staff. Lance Collins, their quarterback, 10 of 13, 167 yards. And Chase Crago had a beautiful catch in mid-stride, midfield, 25 yards. He scooted into the end zone. So it was a wonderful night. Great football game at halftime. And Donna was trailing 19-14. And it ended up, as I mentioned, a thriller 21-19 as uh, Oakland gets their very first win. Also, Ravenna South is coming to Patterson Field tonight. And that, of course, the home of my beloved East Liverpool Potters. It's the first home game of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, get out and uh, remember, blue and white forever. And best of luck to Coach Josh Ludwig. Now, last night, Thursday night football, Matt Forte, the former Bear, now with the J-E-T-S, Jets, 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 three touchdowns, 40. Now, it was Ryan Fitzpatrick, 24-34, finally figuring out the Buffalo Bills defense, which has given him fits the last few times. 374 yards in the air and one touchdown, 37-31. It was a New York Jets win over the Buffalo Bills. Now, college football last night, Greg Ward Jr. ran for two fourth-quarter touchdowns, and number six, Houston, beat Cincinnati 40-16. Tonight, Number 21, Baylor, is going to try to become 3-0 for the sixth straight season, and they will take on Rice. They're a little over a three-touchdown favorite in that one. And how about Andrew McCutcheon? Big statement. Two bombs from the plate. And Jody, Jordy Mercer also hit a homer. Sean Rodriguez hit one. John Jaso hit one. And it was just a big night at the plate for your Pirates, who defeated Cincinnati 15-2. Chad Cool six strong innings tonight. Ryan Vogelsong, 7-10. You can hear it on 93.7 The Fan. And don't forget, tomorrow, that doubleheader, we start right at the conclusion of an abbreviated edition of the True Value Home Improvement Show, 1045 Pirates in Cincinnati on News Radio 1020 KDK. All right, back to work. Have a great day. And remember, it's the weekend. <laughs>